Okay, for number four, um, we have to write if it's law of detachment, so or law of syllogism, or neither. So first, if a student wants to go to college, this needs to match up. Okay, then the student must study hard. Kelly wants to go to Purdue University, so it's saying a student wants to go to college. These match up. If they match up, that's law of detachment. And this part must go with this part here, the then. And it does. It matches. So this is a valid statement. And that is the law of detachment. Okay? For the law of syllogism, we need my then and my if to be the same. So if a number is divisible by 12, then it is divisible by 6. If a number is divisible by 6, okay, so that's true, that's the same and same, then it is divisible by 2. So now you should be able to take this part and this part and bring it down here, which we do, okay? So since these are exactly the same, it is valid, and that is law of syllogism. Okay, here, if Lucy scores at least 85% on her final exam, then she will earn an A. Lucy studied hard. There is nothing to do with studying in this first part. Okay, so we can't conclude that she earns an A. There is nothing about the studying here. So this is not valid. So I can't write anything here because it's just not valid. Okay, on the bottom down here, um, we can just check those answers. So we just flip them around for symmetric. It's the exact same thing for reflexive. I substituted the 75 in for AB here. Okay. And then transitive, since this is the same, we say that X equals E. Okay. For example 9, that one's pretty simple. I'm just going to put these up here. Um, I started out with my statement because it was given, and then I worked it out using distributive property, and then I added 10, and then I divided and got 6. Okay? For this one, um, it's a little, it's very similar to the homework. Now, for this one, they had you write the two givens on separate lines here. So I've got this one and this one. Sorry, number one and number three are your givens. And if I know something is a midpoint, I know that this is congruent to this. Okay, definition of midpoint. Um, I am running out of time, so I'm just going to go real quickly. And then the, the number 11, I know it looks a little bit different on this than it does on your paper. Okay, but it is, it is the same problem. So right here. This is the same problem, okay? And then the last one, I'm going to try to get through real quickly. Kids are coming back from lunch. So if um, this right here has to be 90, and these are both 37. So angle 3 is 37. And then um, angle 5 is 90, that's given. And then to get angle 4, I would take 90 minus 37. And then to get angle 1, I would take 180 minus 37. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, but you'd have to do the work for those two. Thanks, guys. Don't forget, test next class period.